welcome welcome if you guys are watching the replay hashtag replay down below uh the more engagement we get the more people we can reach more people we can help uh shout out josh 40 for that little line right there and in this facebook live i'm gonna go through people's facebook groups and just little tweaks go a long way so i'm gonna show you those little tweaks uh that are gonna get you more engagement more reach more money um and this is actually the third episode if you have not seen the previous two episodes of fix my facebook group they're all on my youtube channel uh if you subscribe to that i will love you forever and if you're here right now drop a heart drop a like uh just because these uh these fix my facebook groups are super insightful super helpful to a lot of people and it helps the algorithm helps reach more people. So drop a heart, drop a like, say what's up. Um, I will turn on my phone to make sure I can read your comments. And if you have a Facebook group, grab the link right now, drop it down below. I may be able to get to it. Um, we have a grand total of two people on this live. Thank you, Tasha, for uh, loving and engaging. I appreciate that. And I need to get back there. We'll dive into it. Um, a lot of cool things have been going on uh, with Tribe Buyers. Um, we have uh, some amazing new people in our seven-figure CEO program um, from Tribe Buyers Live uh, that decided to join there. Um, awesome results with Will Nelson doing $92,000 in a week after his mastermind. Um, and then Jeff Miller, uh, who just made an F ton of money over six figures at his mastermind. Um, and just people crushing it left and right. Uh, so that's a lot of fun stuff. Um, and it all starts with your audience. That is the base. Um, having a, a large list and an engaged list um, will convert to sales if your messaging and your offers are on point. But it all starts with growing those lists and engaging those lists. Once you do, like for me, um, when I just started growing my list, I didn't think I knew too much. And then I started putting more content out there, more content out there. And it's crazy how much people didn't know and started engaging with that content. And then the confidence that I had grew through the roof from growing an audience. So if you're starting from the bottom, start growing an audience, start engaging them. That's what our group growth monetization blueprint program is for. Um, and then, once you have that audience, it's about your offers, just nailing in your offers and continuing to grow and nurture that audience. Um, it's a simple formula. And inside of uh, Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint and Authority Accelerator, we go over the three buckets um, and, uh, and how to grow your list, how to engage your list, and how to monetize your list. So the three buckets are list, value, and money, and how to grow those. And you can't make a lot of money online unless you have your list bucket filled up and your value bucket filled up. Um, and I think I did a free video on that on my YouTube channel as well. But enough talking for me, we'll go into fix my Facebook group. If you guys have your Facebook group link, pop it down below. We have seven people on it, fucking love it. All right, let's just flip this bad boy around. What's up, Tasha? What's up, Chloe? Uh, Ashok? Is that how you say your name? I'll get to your Facebook group. Let's flip this around. There's my stupid face. So let's actually go to the people that are actually on the live right now and people giving me love. Thank you. We'll go to your Facebook group first, Ashok. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Uh, if you are inviting me to your Facebook group, um, then add me. Um, as a member in your Facebook group, boom, you approved me right away. Um, Freedom Business School Network. So first off, your name is the most important thing to your Facebook group. I cannot stress that enough. So Freedom Business School, I don't know what this is about. So what your Facebook group name should be is the promise of your core offer. So our core offer is our seven figure CEO program. So our Facebook group name has to do with surpassing seven figures, right? So what is the core promise of your, uh, or what is the promise of your core program? Um, and then put that into your Facebook group name. 
um, because the name is what attracts people in your group and you want to make sure you're attracting your ideal client. Um, I see way too many people putting like vague names in their, their Facebook group um, and it's not attracting the right person. Um, so uh, make sure that your Facebook group name, it's, it's basically sell people what they want, give people what they need. Um, so putting in your Facebook group name, what the core, what the uh, promise of your core offer is. Um, if you have any questions on that, put them in there. Um, the banner too, it doesn't really produce a pattern interrupt and doesn't look super professional to me. And uh, branding, like first impressions are fucking crucial. And I would always put yourself in the banner somewhere. Highly, highly recommend it. It adds authority to your name, especially when you get upwards of 1,000, 10,000 Facebook group members. It goes a long, long way. So those are the two most important things, your Facebook group name and your Facebook group banner. Um, so I would switch those up. Um, uh, this show must go on. By the way, I love your profile picture. It looks professional. Um, looks like you know what you're talking about. So that's awesome. Um, do, do, do. I only use pictures of like myself and my own life. I don't really take any pictures of like quotes or anything like that. Um, just never gets that much engagement for me. Um, do, do, do. Uh, I never share things. You should always post with a purpose. Um, so I want all of my posts to get good engagement because I know if I get good engagement on this post, I know the next post is going to get more engagement because Facebook wants to feed you more eyeballs when you're continually, continuously getting good engagement. So when you post things that you know isn't going to get a huge amount of engagement, just don't do it. And am I, oh my God, I'm not even sharing the screen. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. And 15 people are watching. Oh my God, you just watched my stupid face talk and you guys didn't even know what I was talking about. Oh, that is so embarrassing. So this is what I'm talking about. Oh, damn it. And I have my phone out too. This is embarrassing. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. The Facebook group name needs to be the promise of your core offer. Um, and then the um, uh, do, 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 do. The banner needs to just look more professional. Um, and uh, you need to be in the banner. Like first impressions are everything. This just looks like it was made on like a Windows 98 and with like paint or something like that. Um, so change that up. Um, then I was talking about quotes here. I just use pictures of myself, make it real, make it fit in with the, uh, uh, with pe what people come onto Facebook for, which is for friends and family. So make sure that your face is out there doing like fun stuff. Um, you can look at my most recent post on my personal profile, which is lifestyle, me laying with a dog. Those like those pi those pictures work so much better. Um, and then I was talking about this post with a purpose. Um, it just isn't doing it. Um, so all of your posts, and I wouldn't do any of these posts. I see a lot of people just finding things on the internet and posting it like this. No, post your own shit, your own life stories. The like shit that you've created. Um, don't post other people's shit like that. Um, it's got the most engagement for you so far. Make freedom as a choice this Black Friday. Okay. Um, just, just so you know, um, for everybody, videos don't perform well on Facebook. Um, Facebook lives perform a little bit better than um, actual videos, um, but uh, they just, don't work as well as like text post. Um, I still do videos. It is helpful that they, they serve a purpose, but if you're looking for engagement, text posts are always going to work better um, than, uh, than Facebook lives and regular videos. Um, cool, cool, cool. All right. So thank you for sharing that. Ashok, I hope I'm saying that right. Cool, we'll go on to the next one. So Morgan, I talked about your first three questions in the last video I did. So let's go into your actual content um, in your Facebook group. 
Um, boo, boo, boo. Cool, cool, cool. I think you're on here. Curious, my group is called More Calories, Less Work. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure if I'm going to attract the people that don't want to put. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's exactly right. You attract what you talk about. Um, be very conscious. This goes for everybody, not just you, Morian. But like, be very conscientious of who you're messaging to. Um, and this is a little golden nugget um, that I got from from my mentor, Alex Moscow, um, around messaging, but. A lot of times um, you want to hit this like grand slam. Like I took somebody from nothing to a billion dollars, right? Um, but who you're attracting there is people that are at nothing right now, right? So think about how you're framing um, your messaging and your case studies. So for example, I could talk about Doug Botton. So Doug Botton joined my Authority Accelerator program when he had $450 in his bank account. And in the first three weeks, we helped him set up a beta program and he launched it and he made $34,000 in three weeks from only $450, the last of his money in his bank account. Now I could say that, but that would attract somebody that um, is just starting out, which is good for like my group growth and monetization blueprint program. But if I'm trying to attract people into Authority Accelerator and Seven Figure CEO, I want to change that story up, which is Doug Botton had a great Facebook group. It was super engaged. He just didn't know how to monetize it. So he came in, joined my program and made $34,000 in three weeks um, because he already had an awesome audience. And we just had to help him set up his offer, his minimal viable offer and get it up off the ground. So that way I'm attracting people with already engaged audiences and I'm not trying to hit that grand slam. So I hope that helps a little bit. Think about your messaging and who you're trying to attract. And a lot of us um, in our messaging are always trying to hit those like grand slams when um, actually we wanna be messaging to a different type of person. Um, so that's that should be super helpful. I hope that helps. Um, so yeah, Morgan, I would change your name. Uh, more more calories, less work. This is attracting the person who wants to put in less work, um, obviously. Um, and and you can change change the name to the core the uh, the promise of your your core offer um, because then you know you're attracting the people that are going to be interested in your offer, right? Um, so that will change up the type of person big time that comes into your Facebook group. Um, boo, 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 boo. My client lost 20 pounds and 21 inches in 11 weeks without giving them gum. Awesome. Want the free video? Comment losing. Awesome. Yeah, this is a great, great, great freaking post. Um, boo, boo, boo. Awesome. Love the story post. This fantastic picture of you. Do, 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 what's one thing you do, do, do. Yeah, you're getting pretty good engagement here. This is good. Um, mm -mm -mm. I would love, love, love to see more interviews with your clients and with some big people in the space. So if you know other influencers, fitness influencers, you have 1500 people in your Facebook group. So that's everybody who has an audience wants to grow their audience even bigger. So invite people into your Facebook group that's a fitness influencer and have them promote the interview to their audience. And you'll get a lot of people in your group that way and interviews with your uh, clients. Um, great way to spread the message of your programs inside of your Facebook group and inspire others um, to take control of their health and fitness. Um, yeah, you're making good posts. I would just love to see more interviews. Um, yeah, I think that will go a long, long way for you. So more interviews. Um, also, I don't see a unit section. So if you change your do 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 the type of your Facebook group from general to social learning, 
um, you get a unit section over here. If you have like, you probably have like a five day challenge, like you're, you're, you're in fitness. Um, so I would put like that challenge inside of the units tab. Um, and then you can use that as a lead magnet to your Facebook group. Like who wants my five day challenge on X, join my Facebook group, go to units tab and you'll get a lot more people in there. And I can't tell you how many people have watched our five day group growth and engagement challenge and have uh, joined our other offers. We just had one person who just watched that and joined our $30,000 offer. Um, so like that goes a long way, just putting that in the units tab and directing people to it and tagging people in it, that will, that will get you a lot more leads and sales. And then I talked about it last time, put your face in the banner um, that, uh, so people know who you are right off the bat. Um, also, since you have so many people in your group already, I would uh, change this to be more premium. This just doesn't like pop out to me. I would get a graphic designer to do your banner. Um, and just looking like a more premium brand goes a long, long way. So good stuff on that. And also I would, uh, I would get some type of community manager to manage your group as well. Um, boo, 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 boo. All right, let's see. Guys, if you have any, drop your URL down below for your Facebook group and I'll try to get to it. Awesome, Joshua, I'll go to yours now. Let's go to Joshua. If you guys are enjoying this, hit the like button, hit the heart button. The more engagement we get, the more people we reach. So that's why I beg for hearts and likes. Give me some love. I'm trying to find your comment, Joshua. So I can, if you can re-comment your uh, Facebook uh, group URL, I'll go to that. Do, do, do. Marianne is asking, should there be some kind of CTA on a story post? Um, no, I would keep them separate. Um, I see a lot of people doing a story post and then a call to action at the end or like trying to sell something. Super freaking cheap. Don't do that. Um, but I would do a lot of story posts um, there we go. I would do a lot of story posts, um, and then, uh, call to action separate. Um, so doing a launch post, doing mission post, all that stuff, um, works really well, but keep the, keep the story post and the call to action separate. Um, I have seen people effectively do a story post into, Hey, comment down below if you want to join my Facebook group. Um, but it's, it's an art. All right. Uh, just gotta get accepted there. Rich. Let's do this. Oh, I'm not in your group either. Guys, if you're posting the link down below, make sure that you're adding me to your Facebook group and then I'll get to it. Yep, more copy. All right. Um, cool. It looks like you're in the beginning stages, Rich, and you just had 24 people join in the past 30 days. My biggest advice to you is pedal to the metal, like just move as many people into your group as possible and nurture them with awesome, valuable content. Don't hold back on your content. Um, because what I see a lot of people do is give up before they get to like 600, 700, 800 people. That's usually when the engagement starts to take off. Just like put your head down and get that amount of people in your group and it will start creating a beast of its own. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. There we go. Uh, Joshua, um, looks good. Banner looks pretty premium. Um, name digital marketing and affiliate marketing for entrepreneurs. Um, cool, decent name. Uh, I would say like six, seven out of 10. Um, if you have a core offer, I'll say it again, make sure that your Facebook name reflects the promise of your core offer because that way you're attracting your ideal clients um, into your Facebook group. Um, yeah, big thing here, it's just, you need more numbers into your Facebook group. Um, 
I never share posts into my Facebook group because it just doesn't get engagement. Um, yeah, don't share things into your group. Run the Facebook group engine, which we share in the group growth and monetization blueprint and authority accelerator. Um, boo, boo, boo. Do, do, do. Uh, you just need more eyeballs on your stuff and better content. Like there's when you're starting off, there's nothing more I can say than drive more people to your group by adding them to your personal profile, nurturing them there first, and then sending them messages saying, hey, join my group or there are a bunch of digital marketers and affiliate marketers in there. Connect with people in Messenger, get them into your group. Also posting something on your personal profile, such as like a lead magnet that's only in your group works really well too. So I'll say that again. Build up the engagement on your personal profile and then make a post saying, hey, I've got this thing that you probably really want, a lead magnet. Comment down below if you want it. And then you send them the link to your Facebook group to get that lead magnet. Um, so that would drive a lot of people into your group in one day. An example of that is Jeff Miller, The first when he opened up his Facebook group, he got 600 people into his group in one day. Um, and I have uh, the uh, a video on kind of how he did that, like the exact post. Um, it's in my carrot con speech, which is actually in the Facebook group here. So check out the carrot con speech. Um, it's, uh, it's somewhere in this Facebook group. Um, but yeah, more eyeballs on your stuff, more valuable shit in your Facebook group. It comes down to that when you're starting out. All right, Rich, let's do this, dude. Love the welcome video. Do do do. Just starting out, so this is good. Love this question. Love that you're responding. Cool. Yeah, a lot of people want to learn more about WordPress. Uh, this is great. I love the uh, with your name too. Secrets works really really well with a Facebook group name. Um, Russell Brunson definitely knows his shit there because he names everything secret, secret, secrets. Um, web agency jumpstart. I like it. So who you're going to attract here um, is somebody who will probably invest between the maximum $300 to $1,000 price range. Um, as you evolve, as this grows, um, you, you're going to want to change your Facebook group name, kind of how I started with the six figure digital marketer. And now we're talking about seven figures. It's the same Facebook group. We just changed names as we evolved. So this is a great way to start out for a lot of people with attracting people where like you've been, which is exactly who you want to go after. Your ideal client is typically you like one to three years ago. Right? So, um, this is a great name. Um, I actually really, really like it. And you're getting a lot of people engaging in here. I freaking love it, dude. Um, yeah, the biggest suggestion that I can make is get more people in here and interviews. What's going to help you grow super fast um, is interviews with other influencers in the space um, and have them promote your interview uh, inside the Facebook group. So give them a script, uh, an email script and a like Facebook post where they can hype your interview. And then you're just using their list to get more people into your Facebook group. It's as simple as that. Um, so good stuff. Do, do, do. Aaron, let's do this, dude. I love, <laughs> I love this banner. It reminds me of something. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I love it. Welcome video. Um, good engagement. I mean, the big thing for you is more eyeballs on your stuff because you are producing good content in here. Um, like everybody else, um, more interviews. I think this is your team. Yeah, for a launch and learn. I would do more interviews in your group, just value packed interviews um, and have them promote the interview in your group. That's going to go such a long way. So do at least one interview a week and get that person to promote the interview to their list. Um, and then 
it's just about getting more numbers into your Facebook group, dude. So um, just sending out messages to people, connecting with them in Messenger and saying, hey, I have a free group. Here's a link to join. Um, also, are you general? I would change your Facebook group from general to social learning. So you have a units tab. And I think you already have some type of a challenge, if I remember correctly. And I would put that challenge in the units tab so um, you can uh, get people to go through your challenge. Um, kind of like this. So what I'm talking about, five day challenge here. Um, and then do to do. This also drives people to, if you go to the first comment, to our group growth monetization blueprint program. So each day has a call to action to our landing page. So uh, for, for our group growth monetization blueprint program, um, which helps you grow your Facebook group to a thousand members and launch your first digital product. So do a five day challenge and drive people to one of your offers after each day and just over deliver on this stuff. Um, cool, I mean, eyeballs, eyeballs, eyeballs. It's gonna be a hustle until you get to like a thousand people, but just get your, it should be a grind to just get people into your fucking group and then it creates a life of its own. So you got this. Uh, and then let's see if you accepted me yet. No, I'm not allowed. Okay, cool. Uh, let me go back and see if you guys have your Facebook groups. Can I create a short quiz based question air in the unit section? Um, I, I don't really know what you're going for there, but if you're trying to get somebody to go through a quiz, I would just make a post and send them through like a Google form um, or any type of quiz software. Ginger, accept me. Do, do, do. I burr, 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 burr. Hope this is helpful. If it is, give me a heart, give me a like, give me a wow face. Uh, wow faces are awesome. For some reason, Facebook's being stupid and I can't access the comments. So if you guys wanna drop your um, Facebook group link again, I will check it out. Uh, that way I could better understand their current situation. Um, yeah, so you should ask those questions in your first three questions um, inside before somebody joins your Facebook group. So our three questions are basically, where are you at? in terms of business revenue. Where do you wanna go in the next 12 months? And then lastly is, uh, hey, do you want this free lead magnet? Drop your drop your email down below. Like that's the best way to get intel. Where are you? Where do you wanna go? Hey, give me, a, give me another like place to access you, right? Oh God, is this not in English? I'm screwed. Do, 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 do. All right, let's check this bad boy out. Hello, I just start the course. Start the course, my idea to create a group about affiliate. I'm doing click funnels. Do you have input for me? Uh, yeah, check out Doug Botton's stuff. He was, uh, he joined our program, our authority accelerator program in um, April. Um, he, was crushing it with affiliates already. So check out his Facebook group. But now he has, I think 160 ClickFunnels affiliates uh, from his Facebook group. And um, he did a $34,000 beta launch. Um, so he's crushing it. Check out Doug Botton. Uh, Let's do this bad boy. Um, and also, uh, we're doing seven-figure roadmap calls. So if you guys want to hop on a call and build out a seven-figure roadmap, kind of the basics to how you can get to seven figures in your business, um, our success strategist, uh, Grant Elertson is doing those calls. He'll literally walk you through a roadmap to seven figures. And if you're a good fit for one of our programs, we'll um, talk about that with you on the call as well. Um, 
So yeah, um, no pressure, just um, feeling things out and giving you a roadmap to seven figures. So if you wanna take advantage of one of those calls, um, we have limited spots before Thanksgiving, um, but you can hashtag seven figures down below and we'll get you on one of those free calls. Um, just hashtag seven figures down below. Um, so Facebook group, eat real food, love your baby body, uh, the nutrition community. Okay. Um, again, for this one, Facebook group name is super important. What's the promise of your core offer? Um, that is what your Facebook group name should be. Um, mm -mm -mm. Wondering how I got here, why I care. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. How many people you have in here? 325. Cool. Um, I want this to be more of a community feel. Um, so asking questions here and getting people to engage with those questions. Um, yeah, like this is good. Um, what do you need to help you love your body again? Cool. Um, in answer back to these people, super duper important. But I would double down on these questions and make it more of a community feel and get their input. Um, so not just Facebook Lives. Facebook Lives are great. Giving them information is, is great. But the purpose of a Facebook group is to make it a community. Um, so getting them to engage. Like one thing that we do is um, like Instagram follow ch uh, chains. So getting people to post their Instagram link and everybody follows one another, great way to make it feel like a community. And then people love to talk about themselves. Um, so uh, one thing you could ask here, super simple. Um, <laughs> what, uh, what's the weirdest thing your baby has ever done? Like people would love to talk about that. Like you have a great niche, niche here because people love their babies. So let them talk about their babies. That will go such a long way. Um, banner solid, kid. Um, Facebook group name could be better. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. All right, I've got three minutes here. Um, oh, we got 27 people on. What up? Um, let me do one more Facebook group. Am I still pending here? Oh, cool. 3,000 people in your group. That's awesome. Still pending. Uh, yay. Joshua taking the seven figure roadmap call. I love it. SJ taking the seven figure roadmap call. Love it. Invisible Braces South Africa chat group. Interesting. Just add me here for Invisalign. That's awesome. Cool. I'm actually getting Invisalign next month as a Christmas gift to myself. So that's sweet. Do, do, do. If you guys are loving this, smash that heart button, smash that like button, helps with the algorithm, um, helps us get this important information out to everybody. Uh, boo, boo, boo. All right. Let me just go through the questions here, actually. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, they're a lot. Um, Any questions here? Do, do, do. All right. I don't see any more questions. I'm going to hop off here. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Take advantage of the free uh, seven figure roadmap call with Grant. He's awesome. Hashtag seven figures down below to grab that link. Hope this was helpful. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.